What can I say about that? <laughs> yeah. It's like you pick a mid hero that's bad against Admiral Nyx, like, well, no surprise there. Tonka support, so that puts Nyx in the offline as yep. you kind of hope for. So, like I mentioned, the f oh, well played. Wow. Well played. Man. Well played. Commanding. I'm commanding. That was. Mid lane duo getting harassed. Has used leap as well. Oh boy! Kua, why aren't you running? Why are you fighting? Big misplay from him. He was trying to attack them instead of running. I just saw the end of it. I saw him right clicking. He land a torrent from the. Naga, Naga might be in trouble. You have no but on mid lane torrent is used. Kua leaps away. He's been X though. Oh, Tim's. Perfect initiation. It's a torrent into X. I like, he uses the torrent, Booker and Tunker, showing each other in the mid lane. Then he does have the knight to work with, but he's still level one. Doesn't have that movement been boosted just yet. Kuchu trying to chase him down the plasma field there with an right click. He gets the kill. Meanwhile, Kuo gets the kill. Tim's, but we need to leap away and we'll leap to the high ground as needed. Kuchu. Plasma. That's where things get get worse for people like Marana, the Draw Ranger. You mentioned the four creates space for one. That's Sam H. He's been given the one v one lane. Oh, he might be in trouble. Oh, oh he died. At base. Oh, he died at base. He had the coil bro. Radiant tower is under attack. The orb of enemy and everything playing out there. Raven in trouble. my body in the deep. Rotation. Come with my lane, I'm in the other. <laughs> Focus on the team, doing the job, like being the team player. He's gonna be, continue to be that team player. He does rotate mid to help QO out. Tori gonna catch two! Oh, the turnaround not gonna be there. The damage is still available in the orb. Help burst him down. Help assumption as well, pairing with that one, Cuckoo. But moves bottom. Could be a big kill if you can get the Naga here. Perhaps he can get caught himself though. Ayo trying to hold his way out of there. Does do so successfully. Comes Febby though, the rotation back the other way. Arjit may just look to turn and fight this one. He doesn't really have an escape. Find any initial kills as Kunkka does get out of there alive. Ayo. You know, nicely phase shift the plasma build, but does still have to worry about this thing. You have rotated in. Hell at the ready. We're gonna catch up the nice little bit during the daytime and Find a follow up kill. Ah, shadow was. Yeah, because they saw QO top, they know that not the whole team is at bottom. Uh, be careful here with the Kunkka. Baby, not level 6. It is still daytime. Nighttime's almost here, but hasn't arrived just yet. Nice coil. Can it lead things off here? Teams? Goes down to stand off the. Nighttime, 5 right. seconds. He's almost there, Cuckoo. Pushed up the cliff by the gust and. Light like Shadow will be thrown out. Perhaps just to come the retreat. Stalker very low. Arrow catch the illusion. Very close to going on Raven here. They're trying to find this shrine. No shrine to use. All the birds being very low for to just drop them down to save their lives. And it does look like TNC uh, tanky enough to kind of hold their ground. Oh no, he didn't have ulti. Okay, never mind. Where? Goes the higher they realize TNT getting aggressive here, but it is nighttime fighting it. They're gonna bring down the drought, negates some of that damage, but he's raised with the process. Nice ghost ship gets the turnaround on the Febby, gets QO low, but TNT are kind of out of steam here. No lich still. 1437 stuck in that top lane. The chain sun coming up for the birds, and it looks like Sam is down a higher. The killing blow gets himself a double kill. Still, in some sense, space for Naga, but it is. One GPM. No, dude! 150 damage! Then you have some Maelstone, Dragon Man, Burgame Pipe, like, uh, right clicking. Like that. That's the same dude. Oh, Sam H. That's a Sam T. Arrow has up pretty decently. The arrow. I'm gonna fly through and catch him though, and Fnatic. Punish. Yep. Ohio just setting up a lot of stuff for his team after getting that brilliant fading base. Oil is cooldown still burns too far away. Dyer's middle Steven will re reconsider yeah, you and check Arrow catches Kunkka to the south, but they're going to use this to go on the race. Kunkka can't throw his turn on Ghost Ship just yet. Chain Frost goes with the stun. The neutral sneaks below the damage. It goes back to Arjit. Arjit dying to this one. It stops bouncing finally. The bouncers 
not exactly playing entirely to TNC's hands and the damage out for the Kunga only now gets up the ghost ship. The stun hits us a lot of them, followed by Impale. Great combo from TNC. 12 hit points on Kunker, who barely survives thanks to Coco's rum. And the sleep will be used to secure some additional kills. DJ will be brought down to the north. If Arjun, he will escape. Oh, the there it is. Oh, no, they want to It's going to be just one, it looks like. Level five. Boy, well, he did not get to use the tomb, and we're seeing the results here. Build pressure to fight with his team as a result. This could be his level six if he can kill 1437. Uh, but he has no friends with him. He gets out a deep ward, but this is really bad. He goes down to start the fight. The coil catches out too nicely. A higher. He's in trouble here though, does not have an orb, but he can drop that as well. Fnatic and crumbling, Q are going to leave himself out. The pullback from the X onto Arjun, and this is not the fight Fnatic are hoping for. Q gets chased down by the Razor, they're going to get DJ as well. Arjun did TP himself out of there, but hey, Naga was just... Rush is not down, tier one, mid tier 1 is still up. Yeah. Bad news. Very, very bad news. And I'll also like, look at some of their itemization and be like, wow, I'm around this core. Nice, Carapace into Arrow, raises me hip, and he got the Blade Mail off. That's a small consolation prize. The Kunkka Ghost Ship will help keep Kuku in good fighting shape. Kuo TP out. He's going to not make it. Brought down a higher barely has the mana for the orb after the magic one. He's going to look to orb, blink himself out of there. It was Visage TPing out from the trees. That puck morphed into the blade melt too. You need to be careful. It was fairly low, but nothing happened. Yeah. You're lowing forward, knowing this is near the end for them. It does not go their way. The tanky lich with a hood, surviving through all this damage, still has a chain frost to play around with. The ghost ship going to go flying on. The DJ going to be the first to fall. Even the Naga now. is fighting now. Yeah, Naga is like, I've got Radiance, they've got no items. Let's let's go, as Naga's Radiance will burn down Febby and... Pretty much legit. Yeah, I may not be a fat lady, but I think I'm soft And he's going to just throw it out. Safety first. Raven, he knows he's alone. He has no idea where the enemy are. Expects fight. A higher meanwhile. Walk on cooldown. Oh, he great play. He carapace broke the dream coil for that extra bit of damage and stun. He actually stuns the top of that. Oh, now I got Raven. I talked about safety first. That is not a safe play for him. He needs to do a lot of heroes by himself. His illusions, though, can now be well, probably my He just died in the illusions. Yeah, that is song. It's not a place to be, but hey, it's team. Getting the job done perhaps without him, and DJ is going to be chased down and definitely brought down. The end of the world for TNC, they still maintain a very sizable lead, but a small hiccup in their road to victory here. Five position, not really. It feels like Kunkka in some ways is more the five position in this game. No, oh, they're breaking high ground. Naga is chipping away the T3 or high, just going to go in frame. Breaks him, he gets X though. Oh no. He's going to pay the price. That one. Thus, it's not actually good for them. They do have the same to protect themselves as well. Gosh, the Naga is pushing your high ground. It's really funny. This is when anti Naga strats fail horribly. The Naga team is pushing your high ground at 25 minutes. Something went catastrophically wrong. Well. We're seeing it here. DJ has been chased down by the Blade Mount Razor. Okay. The kill is not safe for that one. They're going to sleep and set things up here. The ghost ship coming in, and they get the latch. Kuo doesn't have a lead. He's going to go down. And they're going to look for more. It may have been a little bit too early to puddle off to sleep, but it doesn't matter. They are absolutely pummeling Fnatic in their own base. TNC not missing a beat here. They have crushed. Push threat did not work too well, my friend. Who's push threat? <laughs> TNT make it look like that was their strat all along. It does not take them long to take down Fnatic. There's the GG call. Definitely feels like a bit of a foregone conclusion for some time, as is the nature of the strat failing against the Naga, but 